and it's such a, an amazing starter. I promise you that your guests are going to be wowed by okay. it. Okay, my mouth's watering. Let's go. All right, so mm -hmm. we're going to start with some uh, chicken drumsticks. You, if you choose to and you want a really small little appetizer, you could go with drumettes. So you know what are drumettes? I'm assuming they the people who march around drum majorettes. No. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the ends of the wings, you know, the little drumstick. It, it oh, a drumstick, okay. So it's called a drumette. But I've chosen to use drumsticks today. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, I've uh, skinned them mm -hmm. and I've got them all prepared. And well we've done. washed and drained them. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to be using some breadcrumbs. Mm. I've got some salt. I've got some pepper. Um, and sorry, um, uh, Master Chef. Yes. Uh, this is pepper. Yes, what did you I say? You said salt. Well, do you know what I mean? Black oh. pepper. <laughs> and then we've got some chili salt here okay. that we're going to be flavoring the mm -hmm. flour with. So I've got a cup of flour. Okay. And then you just sift this into this bowl here. Not a problem. All right. So uh, it's a three step uh, little. Recipe. Recipe. So this so is step one. Step one is okay. to. Okay. Right, there we go. Cup of flour. Serve it into a. Serve it in there. Just watch where it falls from. Right, there you go. Hmm. Is that a look of disgust? No, no. Why would that? It's a look of love. I... It's a lovely flour, eh? Yes, mm. thank mm. you. <laughs> All right, so. Very good. Thank you very much. There so we're go. going to That's season this done. very lightly and I am going to just put some chilli salt in here into the flour now. Okay. Alright. And um, I'm going to put a little bit of ground, fresh ground pepper. You're not going to get any of Just the... for taste, right? Nothing yes. too fiery, I assume. No, nothing too fiery. Okay. Because we have the bunny coming up, but I'm going to be adding some of my favourite. That's garam masala, which is just going to give it a little bit of a... Um, kick. A kick, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so there we have the flour. So as I said, I've prepared the chicken. We've uh, patted it dry and I've just... Um... Okay, so hang on. So now what we've, we've got the flour yes. with pepper, salt, then we've got the breadcrumbs. Yes. We've got the chicken. We've got the chicken. So we get a line going here. There we go. But we're going to firstly season the chicken. Oh. Okay. And I'm going to put some pepper and salt in here. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get some of that lovely Himalayan pink salt in there. Yes, given quite a good. There you go. Yes. Right. That's perfectly fine. Ooh. We're going to give this a little bit of a shake up. I'm going to get my hands in here and just give it a good mix up. Ideally, you're going to just marinate this as you would like and you're going to put this into the fridge, cover it and put it into the fridge for at least an hour to sit, all right? And then we are going to put this into our seasoned flour. So, so this is after an hour in the, in, in the fridge marinade? That's right. Okay. So, here we go. So we're going to um, take the chicken drumsticks and you're going to um, coat it in the flour. Okay. All right, and while you coat that in the flour, I'm going to beat up some eggs and we're going to make an egg wash because if you were to just coat this in here and put it to the drumsticks, then it's not going to stick. Okay, so first step, marinate all that. Yes. Get the flour ready, sort yes. it out. The third step, we're going to have egg wash here. Yes. Dip it in the egg yes. and then put it in the breadcrumbs. Yes, but of okay. course, we did say that this is is there another? Every no. time I get the steps right, you add yes. something else in. And that, it's a sesame, sesame crumbed drumstick. Okay. So I have toasted some sesame seeds in that pan there. Okay. So you want to pass it to us? So which step would that be then? Before the eggs or That's after the eggs? It's actually going to go right into the crumbs, so it'll be after the eggs. Okay. But you can put that into the crumbs right now. Right now. And I'm getting the eggs all beat up for you. So this is about... Uh, Half a two cup, two tablespoons. Two okay. tablespoons of sesame. sesame. All and right. you can just get that uh, with the seeds. Um, I'm going to just beat up two eggs in there. Now, do you know why you would not open all of the eggs into one container? Uh, I'd get too full. Well, that's a good idea. There you go. But uh, one of the reasons is that if you were to be using a lot of eggs, well, of course you just have to look at it and you can see that it's good. What if do you mean? We, 
if we were using a lot of eggs, and if one of the eggs were bad, oh. we would have to throw all of this. We and don't course, like bad eggs. No, we don't. Okay. So I'm just going to beat this up. This is our egg wash. Do you, sorry, do you put salt or whatever? Yeah, you can salt it oh. if you like. Too much. Okay, if you want to. Yeah, I like to salt it. Thank you for that little tip. Mm. Full of mm. wonderful tips today. Yeah, my mum taught me well. She did indeed. <laughs> All right. right. So there's our egg wash with a little bit of chili salt. And Get then my um, sleeves out the way. So you're going to, I thought you would have done this by now. We're going to take the <laughs> drumstick. We're going to coat it in the seasoned flour. All right. We're going to shake out the excess flour. We're going to then put it into the egg. Mm -hmm. Step we're going three. To, yes. Mm -hmm. Roll that around in the egg wash. And we're going to insert it into the sesame crumbs that we've got already. Okay. And That's why I asked go. you, where does it go from here? Because I wanted to have something. Oh, it just stays there. Okay, sorry. All right. <laughs> and then in the meanwhile, we're going to uh, get the oil on the pan going. And okay. we're going to be frying this while you get the others ready. I'm going to get the stove on. Ah! This is not... This is getting really sticky and... I'm going to use some ordinary sunflower oil, but if you um, want to, you could use olive oil. And there you go. I've lightly um, coated the bottom of the pan, and because we want this to be nice and crunchy, I've added a little more oil. Okay, so, I'm just trying to figure out the best method to, to well get it done. to that. So, um, while that's... Heating up, you're getting all of this ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, well done. You're doing a very fine job, but I'm going to okay. help you. So I've got a couple of minutes. So if you have a, uh, if you have um, some hands, extra hands, mm -hmm. then one person will do the flour, one will do the egg wash, one will do the crumbs, and one will fry. But that's in an ideal world. Yes, yeah, so it does. If you do this on your own, I would uh, flour all of the drumsticks on my own. And then I would do all of the egg wash, and then I would do all of the crumbing. Like you so, normally do. Like I normally <laughs> do, thank you. <laughs> and then you just stand at the end um, as it comes out the pan and you roll them There you go, up. that's the final step. That's the final step, mm -hmm. so there we go. We're done with that, I'm going to get rid of this. I think you're just giving this a bit of a gourmet twist to add sesame uh, crumbs. Okay. Right, so you'll get some of it on there. It's not overpowering. Uh, it's not going to get too bitter as you fry it. And our oil is heating up in the pan there as we finish the last one. So I'm just going to give you a little tip. So you can actually add the flour into a little bag. Plastic bag. A plastic bag. Mm -hmm. And you can add the crumbs into a plastic bag. Mm -hmm. so I do have a plastic bag on the side if you could pass it. And yes, then boss. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to toss. So why did we do it? Bag on the side. Yes. Smaller bag, bigger bag. Uh, well, no, yes, same bag. All right. So I'm going to, you're going to open up a bag. I'm just going to get a, a cup of crumbs in there. All right, maybe a little more. Well, the thing is for demonstration purposes. So yes, so fine. you're going to pop in one of those and drumsticks. Then you pop the drumstick in. To the bag. And you can just roll it around like that and you yes. get your, your hands don't really get messed in this way. There you go. And you get a much more even coating of the breadcrumbs. That's a very good idea. I yeah. could have told you that at the beginning. You could have. But then you were full But you of, just um, didn't want to. Yes. Mm. I want to show you how to do it the original way. So okay. while you're there now, can you just pop that straight into the pan? First you must test the oil. How would you test the oil? You spit in it. And then? If it spits back, it's hot. <laughs> I don't think we want. I don't <laughs> think we want your mum's cooking methods here. So you're not going to spit in the oil. <laughs> Gently, because you don't want that to. Right. So there we go. We're just going to give it a finishing coat, and I'm going to dust off the extra crumbs, and we're going to ask you to put that into the oil very gently. Well done. So do you like this little method of crumbing? Yes, yes. 
and it's especially a lot cleaner, if you're coming something delicate quicker. it like has a much more i don't think you can see it but it has a much more even spread thank you yeah. all right here we go can you get another one in there uh oh yeah right here we go you can get all in actually can you yep all right so i, I like the drumsticks to be uh, smaller um this is actually a fine enough size and then in this case you're just doing one drumstick per person and that's it but uh, it, it depends on who you're inviting i mean my family one drumstick your family uh, half a drumstick <laughs> thank yeah, you there you go <laughs> all right and remember as well it's a starter so you don't want everybody to be Get filled to up mm -hmm. on the on the starter Okay. On more than one drumstick. Wow, that looks so absolutely stunning. So it's browning stunning. very nicely. Browning beautifully. Ah, and now you can see the sesame seeds very clearly. Yes. And you see, because we've mixed it with the crumbs, you can look um, at the we're sesame. not getting too much of it. Well done. You've done a wonderful job. I that. know, I know. I like starters. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lovely right, smell. There goes. Oh, that smells absolutely delicious. That's actually the aroma. The aroma mm -hmm. of the chicken. All right. So, so this is a very much uh, a southern American fried chicken. Fried chicken. That's yeah. right. Uh, sesame seeds, is that that like, uh, Durban? I think we just added a bit of okay. a gourmet twist here. Hey, to excuse me. Sesame seeds. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, uh, just something to remember that when you um cooking chicken, you're going to cook it at a fairly... Um, moderate heat um, especially that these are drumsticks you don't want the inside of it to be rare you want it to cook through so well we, it depends on yes. how you like your chicken i don't think anybody wants their chicken a fried from chicken rare in the middle i think you want it well done mm -hmm. and um, so of course we're gonna uh, make sure that it's evenly browned on all sides and this should take a good eight minutes to fry okay and we're going to stick that into casserole and put it into the warmer drawer you don't want your chicken to dry out too much so i would do this just as almost just as we need to serve it and that's our sesame crumb drumstick 